Yesterday, Tuesday, and the market was turbulent. And what did I tell you pre-market? I said the market's going to go down. Futures were down. Expect them to turn green. Expect the market to turn green. So what happened when the market opened? Tech actually turned green. And I said, that's our point to enter. And how are we going to make money? Does anybody remember the UVXY? So let me bring up the chart. Going into today, I already knew that I was looking for one of the lower points to purchase call options because I said the market was going down. Now, when I said the market was going down, I predicted the market was going to go down the Dow 494 points, and I projected tech was going to go down 220 points. What happened? I was correct. They actually went down a little more. So let me tell you what happened. All right. So you had a spike. It opened because I'm telling you the market's volatile. And then what happened? It dipped. It dipped. It dipped. It dipped four times. Everybody had a chance to get in because I posted my positions. I had calls in the UVXY and I had puts on MO, right? So what happened? Boom. You got it. It peaked, here we go, 1724, it went higher, 1736, it went higher, it was all the way up to 1745, oh, probably even 1750. What happened when it retracted here? I sold, I secured profit, why? Because I tell you, risk versus reward. So if you look at where I sold and where it ended the day, you'll understand why I secured profit. I sold here and ended the day here. Now what happened? Of course, 10 minute rule. Within 10 minutes after I sold, it had spiked and spiked even higher. So there was complete money to be made in the market. So if you followed me, whether you chose to exit when I did or whether you chose to exit when you did, we made money. Yes, the small account challenge, the challenge that I started with PB Investing, he has $1,000, I have $1,000. The goal is together, him and I are talking and we're here to grow your accounts from 1,000 to 25,000. So please, if you're following the small account challenge, you can follow my direct trades by using the app Iris, I-R-I-S. If not, I've been tweeting them out or you're part of my Discord and you see the channel right there. If you're following me on Discord, I believe we're letting people follow the small account challenge for free. So follow me on Discord, 349 Trading. With that said, let's talk about the market coming up for Wednesday because what am I expecting? So I'm going to bring back that same old chart for the UVXY and I'm going to tell you what I'm expecting. Okay, so UVXY, boom, boom, boom volume selling their outflow got a last spike to 1770 and then all the way down it dropped a full dollar which is like five percent so let's bring up the five day chart and we can see that it peaked here actually the one month chart probably be better boom today was an outflow day meaning today off this spike people were selling so what am i expecting going into wednesday i'm expecting a bounce in the market i'm not gonna lie i'm expecting futures to be green let me just see what the markets ended up today because that's how I make my predictions. Okay, so the markets ended down today, 166 for tech. I'm thinking tech goes up 100 points on Wednesday. And the Dow ended today at 482 off. I'm going to predict the Dow makes uh, 160 points to 170 points on Wednesday. So again, final prediction. And now it's amazing how it gets there because understand nothing goes straight up or down. So just because I'm predicting Dow up, let's say 170 points and tech up like 100 points, it doesn't mean we're going to start the day and it's like 170, 100 and it's going to flatline across the day. Based on that information, you're looking for best entry points. So let's say we see what we saw previous market days. So here's what I'm expecting it open. And you know what? Let me bring up the spy chart. Boom. And the spy chart is up. But let me make it so you guys can actually see it on your screen. So I've got the five day spy chart. Here we go huge outflow 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 towards the end of the day so we can see that in the one day chart right here but then there was buying then it picked up when the spy i believe dropped to 425 there was buying pushing it all the way up to 429 so yeah there's the 425 that it dropped in the middle of the day or dropped in the morning so here we go selling outflow okay so let me tell you what's expected we got the five day here bum bum on the low side and remember when we go down, I always say there's something called double bottom. So if you think today was the worst, no, we'll probably retouch 425 on the spy, but it won't happen till maybe Thursday, Friday, Monday. So I'm, tomorrow I'm expecting an actual green day. I'm expecting the spy to maybe top out at 433. So that's how I'm going to make money. And hopefully you can join me tomorrow. Remember, small account challenge. If I think the spy might touch 433 at one point, 
and the SPY is currently 429.57 at the close of market. So 429.57. I think at some point tomorrow it'll be 433. So two ways to put it. Market opens down tomorrow. I look for the lowest point and I say SPY calls that expire on Friday. Why? Because you want to give yourself enough chance to be right. So I'm looking for the market to rebound tomorrow. Again, I'm looking to secure entry when the market is dipping the most. Um, you could do the same thing if you wanted to do UVXY puts. Same thing as SPY calls, but give yourself enough time. Again, tomorrow's Wednesday, so that leaves you three days of trading. If you're wrong tomorrow, that only leaves you two days of trading. So it might make sense to go out and use next week expiration options. Again, it's all about risk versus reward. And when I sold my positions today for a 41% gain in my small account, it's the small piles that turn into bigger piles. I talk about these lessons all the time. Thank you for watching.